All right, everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how to solve Project Euler number five with Python. Now I'm remaking this because the audio in the last one was too low, as said by I think Garrett something. Sorry, don't remember exactly what your username was. I'd look it up, but it's late. I'm recording this, and I probably won't even get this up until tomorrow. But oh well. So. Um, here's the problem that we're faced with from Project Euler. Try and find the smallest number divisible by all the other numbers from 1 to 20. So that means that the number will have to be divided by 1, by 2, by 3, and by 4, all the way up to 20, evenly. And we can do things like that pretty easily just by using the modulus um, operator, which we'll check to see if it is evenly divisible if we set it to equal 1. I mean, zero, not one. Now, there's a problem with this, though. If we were to just try and do that with all these, it would take a very, very long time. Um, we'd have to have a range of a huge number and stuff like that. So instead, what we're going to do is make something that will uh, basically go through all the loops all together at once very f quickly. Um, also, by the way, this is going to be the last one from Project Euler, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys a new language called something that I, I just remembered. I'm not going to tell you guys yet, but uh, another language. If, you, if you've gotten this far in Python, there's not really any much I can teach you other than how to use different modules, which is something that's pathetically easy. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get started. So, first what we're going to do is just define our function, which is solve. It's going to take two um, two arguments, t and n. Oops. Put the colon there. Now what we want to do is say if n is greater than 0, then do if not t modulus n, which just checks to see if it's false, then um, we need to check and see if um, what was it? If solve t comma n minus one, I believe. Then we return true if if that works. Else, oops, yeah. Else return false. Else return false. And lastly, else return true. Now all we have to do is set i to equal 20, I believe. Um, let me think real fast. Yeah, that should work. Now we're going to make a while loop, which will be while not solve i comma 20 i plus equals 20 so we're going to increase it by 20 the reason we're doing that is that 20 is the top number that has to be divisible by so it has to be some multiple of 20 at all times so we start at the smallest which is 20 that's the smallest number that it can possibly be is 20 uh, we know it's not because 7 does not go evenly into 20 neither does 9 and so on so we have to keep adding 20 until it works for all of them and that's what the n minus one up here does is it checks to see if it's if it works for that if so it returns true and then it just goes through over and over again until this statement goes off and so yeah that's pretty much all we need to do then down here outside of the while loop we say return or not return print i now if we save this um, we'll save it as euler.py Save it to my desktop because I don't like putting stuff in there because it never gets deleted. Save. We press F5 to run it. And takes, I think, about like 30 seconds max to run. It's a lot faster than the first way I did this. Like, if you guys have seen me struggling through these problems, you probably won't watch my videos anymore because it took me like 10 minutes to solve this one with my first solution. It was just if x modulus 1 is equal to 0 and so on all the way up to 20 with like and in between each statement it took forever for it to run 
But yeah. Anyways, here is your answer. Two three two seven nine two five six zero. And we'll check to make sure that that is the correct one. And there we are. Two three two seven nine two five six zero. Now, that's this is the last project Euler problem that I'm showing with Python. I might show more with Python. I don't know. If you guys keep wanting me to do those, I will. But if you've gotten this far, there's not really that much more that you can learn. Like, you just want to learn how to do algorithms better. But you can do that in any language. It doesn't have to just be Python. That's why we're going to move on to another language, which is not only faster, but it has more uses. One key concept with programming languages is that you can pretty much do anything you want in any of them. All of them can pretty much do the same thing. But C, much stronger than Python. And don't worry, we're not learning C, because that is complicated beyond my reach at the moment, because I have way too much stuff to be doing at school than trying to learn C. So it's not that, but you get what I'm saying. C, the language C, made Python. It's a lot faster and stronger than Python is. And it's more like, it's a low level language is what they call it, because it can work on pretty much any project that you want. Python's higher level. It's harder to make it work on anything. So, yeah, we're going to move to a lower level language. I'm sure you guys will like that, and we can even do Project Euler with it if you guys want to see algorithms um, created inside of it. And if you've looked in the forums, you've probably seen a lot of people do with this uh, low level language anyways. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll be seeing you later. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And, yeah, also, thanks to Garrett about, um, actually let me check and see what his name is, V. Garrett HB. Thank you for uh, saying that it was, the audio was too low. I hope this was better, not too loud, but better and not so low. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you guys later.